All right, so bad news for Americans hoping to become homeowners. Not only are the rare low 2% loans of the pandemic way in the rear view, now economists are predicting mortgage rates will stay stuck above 6% for at least the next two years. You can see here how rates have climbed since September. You see that dip, good time, and then coming back up. With me now is the CEO of Real Wealth and author of The Wise Investor, Rich Fetke. Good to see you, Rich. Uh, now, look, you don't really see this as bad news. You must not be buying a home right now. But why don't you see it as bad news? Well, it's tough news. It's a really yeah. hard time to buy a house right now, no doubt about it. And a lot of it's generational because we got millennials, the largest adult population in the U.S. right now, huge, 73 million millennials. And they're at home buying age. So they want to get in. They want to buy their first house. And it's a real challenge for them. Um, part of it is because of these mortgage rates. You know, in the last two decades, it's uh, last year, it was at the highest it's ever been in the last two decades at 8%. Now down to, you know, the little, little under 7% right now. But, you know, a lot of people don't realize that in the U.S., it's the only place where you can get a fixed rate mortgage for 30 years and have the same payment over time. So if you can get into a property, then it can really make a big difference in your life. So helping millennials get into that, that's that's what we're all about. I think it's so important to do that. And honestly, what they need to do is get creative. Mm. Uh, well, and look, you know, one, one of the things that we've been monitoring as well is total housing inventory has consistently improved this year uh, when you look at the so-called lock-in effect as that's sort of become undone. Uh, what is the lock-in effect mm -hmm. and, and how could that actually change things long term? And the lock-in effect is, you know, people got these amazing rates after the 2008 crisis and and COVID and the pandemic, the rates got so low down in those two, three, four percent that a lot of people got those mortgages and are locked into them. So they're staying in their homes. They're like, why would I want to sell? starting to unwind a little bit. Now people are getting to the end of their term or things are happening in their lives like divorce or death, things like that. So more houses are coming on. Also, builders are getting very busy. They're getting after it because we do have a massive shortage of homes in the United States. So yes, we are starting to see this come back. There's more properties. And you know what we've seen is millennials are getting creative. Any first time homeowner can get creative. Um, we have an employee at Real Wealth and she, uh, lived in California, she ended up moving to Cleveland, Ohio. She bought a duplex and then that way she can live in the upstairs with her husband and their new baby and they can rent out the lower level and that really helps them with their mortgage payments. So there's ways to get creative. My wife and I back in 1997 bought our first uh, property. It was in the San Francisco Bay Area, way more mortgage than we could afford. So we house hacked, basically a house hack is when you take some of the rooms and you rent those out. We took the lo lower level of that home and we rented them out and we got, that's when we became landlords. That's how we became real estate investors. And it helped us huge with our mortgage. So there's ways to get creative. There's ways that you can get in. And I think one of the most important things you can do, what we told our 24 year old daughter, our millennial, uh, yeah. is to go out and see what you qualify for. Just speak mm -hmm. to a mortgage broker and find out what could you qualify. And people don't realize that you can get into an FHA loan for 3% down. So, wow. you know, over time, it's so much better to be locked into something, you know, get a 30 year fixed mortgage on something, even if you have to move out of state or whatever it is getting into real estate. Because if you think about that 30 years from now, yeah. if you are a lifelong renter, you know, your rent is going to go up. It's going to go up every year. For sure. uh, so imagine that in 30 years, what your rent's going to be. But with a 30 year fixed mortgage, you got one payment. It's going to be the same today as it is in 30 years. So it's, the more you it's can get good into business, real estate, if you can get it, Rich, it's, it's great business if you can get it. But to your point, it, is. Uh, it looks like I know for it's now hard. that I know creativity it's hard, for now, it looks like that creativity may rule the day. Rich Fecky, really appreciate you being here.